I feel like I'm overcompensating with this dress today uh, because obviously I am making a video about my skin. I have to show you my skin. So I am only wearing mascara and brow gel today, uh, but I feel a little like I'm underdoing it. It's weird. That's it, that's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda and you're watching Swell Entertainment and I was on Accutane for about 10-ish months. I was debating waiting a little longer to do this just to make sure that uh, my skin didn't like break out again or anything like that. But considering uh, by the time this video comes out, it'll have been two months since I have officially been off of Accutane and I will have had my final uh, blood tests done. Um, I figured it was okay for me to make this now. I want to clarify before I get into the bulk part of this video, I am sharing my experience on Accutane. My experience could very easily be different than yours. I had a lot of ups and downs on Accutane. It affects everyone differently. At the end of the day, it is a medication and everyone's body is different. However, even my treatment for Accutane could be very different from yours, considering I am a young woman who is capable of getting pregnant. The whole process of me being on Accutane and how I had to go about getting my Accutane prescription each month is probably going to vary from someone who is not capable of getting pregnant. So please keep that in mind. I was incredibly lucky in puberty and adolescence. I never got acne. My way of taking care of my skin was horrible. Uh, to the point that I, I'm fairly certain that it made things worse when I did break out. I barely washed my face, if ever. Um, when I did, it was either St. Ives apricot scrub or I would use a cotton ball and isopropyl alcohol or peroxide and just put it all over my face. Don't do that. Uh, it'll get the dirt off, but it'll also dry the fuck out of your face. I think it was right after I turned 19, I got my period and my face broke out and I was like, okay, it'll go away. Like no big deal. Like it's not uncommon for me to get pimples around that time of month regardless. And then it just didn't. And uh, I got acne around my jawline, on my forehead, um, around my mouth. And uh, it was pretty significant to the point that like my family was commenting on it because I had never had acne before that when I did have it, people commented on it more because they thought something was wrong. So that was fun. My acne would kind of fluctuate up and down in that sudden changes to my diet or my exercise, like weekly exercise, my skin would clear up. So I would always tell myself like, oh, it's fine, it'll go away. Like I just need to keep doing this or I just need to cut out dairy and that'll do it, which did not do anything for me, frankly, cutting out dairy. Um, I lost weight cutting out dairy, but it didn't do much for my skin. I think at a certain point, I just kind of got used to looking at it. So when I was about to turn 22, my dad finally was like, okay, look, I'm concerned, very few people you know have acne like you shouldn't still have acne at this point which that's dumb uh, anyone can get acne age is irrelevant your skin fluctuates constantly your cells fluctuate constantly you can get adult acne you can get acne when you're 12 you know like it's a whole thing anyway but my dad was worried that there was something else going on that was causing the acne so i made a doctor's appointment and okay um so Again, I picked at my face a lot. I shouldn't have. Um, and even when I didn't pick at my face, I would still get um, acne scarring that would kind of be like really red bump looking things underneath the surface of my skin. She comes in, goes to shake my hand and says, hi, I'm, oh my God, your face. Is that why you're here? I don't often want to deck doctors, but I strongly considered it in that moment. This doctor was not a dermatologist, but she was like, I'll take photos to send to dermatology, but I'm fairly certain they're gonna agree with me that this is not acne, this is an infection. I think this is folliculitis, which from my understanding is typically seen in men who shave their faces, um, which I did not do, so okay. They took photos and sent it to dermatology and they're like, I'm sure they'll get back to me in a couple of days, but we'll let you know. Within two hours, I got a call from the doctor saying, hi, dermatology got back to me. They said that you have uh, moderate to severe acne and they want to start you on birth control so they can put you on Accutane because you have to be on birth control for a month before you can go on the Accutane. I did not handle being told that I was going to go on Accutane well. I think I went to go pick up the birth control and was like shaking as I picked it up because I was like, if I accept this, it means I have to go on Accutane. I didn't have to. I probably could have not. Um, I'm glad now that I did, but you know, it at the time it was like the worst possible thing in my brain. For me at least, it was always the uh, boogeyman in the skincare closet. Like, you should do all of this. You have all of these options to do before you have to go on Accutane. You don't have to go on Accutane. And so it was kind of always built up to be this big, horrible thing. I think a lot of that, for me at least, my anxiety for it came from there not being enough. Um, education on Accutane currently, if that makes sense. And then when I did finally, you know, actually see a dermatologist and they explained, yes, your Accutane is the best option, they didn't make it any better. Um, 
for uh, dissuading my um, anxiety. And my dermatologist didn't tell me, I had to do my own research to find this out. What they prescribe now as Accutane is not what they used to prescribe as Accutane. They basically now prescribe a generic form of Accutane, which to my knowledge from what I've seen does not have the same long-term risks or even the same risks as the original Accutane. I had to be enrolled in the iPledge program. Should I get my binder? I'm not gonna get it. It's literally a whole ass program, uh, like binder folder thing that I had to sign with like my name and my social security number. Basically pledging that if I had sex, I would use uh, two forms of birth control because the risk of birth defects while on this medication is incredibly high. Even though I was like, I'm not sexually active, I'm probably not gonna become sexually active while there's a risk of this. Like I'm already terrified of pregnancy. Like I, we're, this isn't gonna be a, a problem with me. They're like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I had to sign on to the iPledge program, which is online as well as the in-person stuff. Uh, but then also the dermatologist had to read me like a whole thing about uh, the risk of uh, mental changes while on Accutane. She was also really annoyed explaining this to me, but she explained why they had to do it. And it's like, we haven't had issues like that. Uh, I've never had a patient experience this, but if there is any sudden mood swings, we will take you off of it immediately and we will evaluate from there. It also warned me against drinking alcohol while taking Accutane. Um, I was like, I don't drink. And she was like, okay. Sure, I was like, no, I, I literally don't drink. I was 21 at the point, so it didn't matter. So this is before I've even been prescribed the pill. I'm just enrolled in all this shit. I am eligible to get Accutane. I am not prescribed it at this point. So then because I was someone who was capable of getting pregnant, I had to have two negative pregnancy tests five weeks apart before I could start taking Accutane. So I am a little bitch with needles and hospitals. So already I was dreading this process and eventually I got used to going in for monthly blood work because yes, I had to go get blood work done every single month if I wanted to refill my prescription for Accutane. Every single time uh, was making sure I wasn't pregnant, um, but also they were checking my other levels to make sure my body was reacting properly to the Accutane and I wasn't having some type of adverse reaction never had anything adverse and I was never pregnant because I was never sexually active. I am now the proud owner of an Accutane prescription. Before I get into my whole process on Accutane, let me talk about the things that you should and should not do on Accutane. You want to drink a fuck ton of water. I basically drowned myself every day. Um, if I could get to a gallon, I would do it. Your skin will be so incredibly dry and not just your face, like my whole body got dry. Like my knees were peeling, my hands were peeling at a certain point. Also, sunscreen all over your body, not just your face. The light sensitivity. If I was outside for 10 minutes, my face would get violently red and I would always panic even though I knew I was wearing sunscreen because the sun sensitivity is just so strong when you're on Accutane. No exfoliation, no spot treatments, no, uh, facials or anything that would be invasive to your skin. You can't get any piercings or tattoos of any kind. Basically it was told to me that because Accutane dries you out, but also because of the ingredients, it can lead to a prolonged healing time. The longer healing time leads you open to a possibility of infection. Fuck that. Pausing on this flattering still of me because I left out that you were not supposed to take any type of supplements or any other type of medication while you're on Accutane. They specifically told me that if I became sick and was put on some type of antibiotic, I would have to stop Accutane immediately. You also cannot donate blood while you're on Accutane. The same way you cannot get pregnant while you're on Accutane, the risk of a pregnant woman getting your blood that you donated is incredibly high. So you cannot donate blood while you're on Accutane. Also later when I went off Accutane, I was told that I could uh, and still not get pregnant until uh, a month after my last negative blood work. I could also not donate blood still, and I could not do any other invasive things to my skin that includes piercings, facials, etc for another six months after my last dosage. This is what they prescribed me. I ripped off the uh, prescription uh, thing, but this is what they first prescribed me. This is Chloravis. This is the generic form of Accutane. I believe it's the only one, but this is the one that I'm familiar with. Basically how Accutane treatments work, treatment plans work, is that they base it off of your weight. So they are trying to get you to a certain range of milligrams to ingest over the course of your treatment based on your weight. I believe my range was 600 something milligrams to 800 something milligrams. They put me on 40. I was trying to get off this shit as quickly as possible. They warned me about the possibility of my face 
going through the breakout. Probably gonna be the worst breakout you've seen, and that's very common, that is normal. It's basically just the vitamin A forcing the cell turnover, which is going to force all the bad shit that's clogging up your pores out. All over this box in several places are warnings against getting pregnant. So do not get pregnant. Do not get pregnant. So special warning for female patients. Uh, causes birth def defects, do not get pregnant. Um, every single one of these little capsules has a warning against getting pregnant on it. So if you think you're gonna forget about it, you won't. This will drive the point home. Got through like three or four days of this. My face started getting like little red bumps on it. And I was like, oh, okay. Like it's just the start of the breakout. It's fine. Um, but then it moved more all around my face, down my neck, splotchy as shit on my arms. And I was like, oh, this isn't a breakout, this is hives. I am moderately allergic to a different antibiotic. It's not relevant, so I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I have a very similar reaction on that, which is breaking out in hives severely. So because of that, I was like, fuck, am I allergic to Accutane? They told me because of the severity of how uh, intense of a medication Accutane is, that just taking me off of it cold turkey could lead to a more severe reaction. So they decided it would be best to just wean me off of it with the rest of what I had. So what they decided to do is have me do one day on, two days off. So basically every three days I would take one of the 40 milligrams. And because of that, it took me much longer to go through the 30 days, obviously. Hives cleared up, no problem. So what I fairly certain happened is that I actually wasn't allergic to Accutane. My body is just baby. Uh, so that was why I had an adverse reaction. I also experienced a side effect that is not common. I experienced pretty much all of the common side effects, but I only experienced them towards the beginning. Um, dry skin, I had the entire time. Dry eyes, I had the entire time. Dry lips, I had the entire time. My recommendation for both the eyes and the lips, find a lubricating eye drop that you like and find something that's like a goopy lip stuff. Like I used Carmex religiously. I went through so many things of Carmex. Something else that they warned me about uh, was bloody noses. Um, but I had never had a bloody nose prior to that. So the worst I ever got was like bloody boogers at like the very, very start, that was it. But I also got severe nausea um, at the start of Accutane. And when I eventually ended up getting off of Accutane, um, Recently, I experienced the nausea again, not to the same degree, but it was pretty bad. Um, I didn't eat for like three days when I first started Accutane. Um, the nausea was that bad. I just, I could not eat. At a certain point, because the hives went away and they were like, if you're comfortable with it, we would like to see if you can go to every other day instead of every three days to take this to get through the pack. We're gonna put you on a 20 milligram because that's basically what you're on at this point and you're gonna take that every single day. Here's all the 20 milligrams I took. Again, each pack comes with 30 pills in it. But basically what happened with putting me on to the 20 milligrams is because I had stretched out the 40 milligram. I had aged out of the eye pledge program. Basically what it does is that if you are not active in the program for 54 days, even if the nurse is like updating your stuff, if I was not active in the program, which I wouldn't have been because I wasn't prescribed a new one, so there was no point for me to log in. Every time I wanted to go and get a refill of Accutane, even with the blood work, I would have to call in. She would ask me questions, see where we were at, see if we wanted to change anything. And then she would check me off in iPledge and then I, on my own computer, had to go into iPledge and answer like five or six questions before I was cleared to go pick up my prescription or go fill my prescription of Accutane. What two forms of birth control are you using? You are prescribed this medication and you are having sex with your boyfriend and the condom breaks. What should you do? The answers were really obvious. It was like, contact your doctor, um, have a pregnancy test, keep having sex a lot. But because I hadn't taken those tests in like 54 days, I had aged out of the program. So I had to do the two negative pregnancy tests five weeks apart again. I was off of Accutane for a full month. I needed that month off of Accutane because that put a lot of my fears about the long-term side effects to rest. Because within that month, most of the side effects that I had been experiencing went away. I did break out a little bit, not severely. Like I just had a couple of bumps. Again, I never broke out severely on Accutane. I never had the big breakout. My skin just kind of cleared up. I would get pimples here and there, but for the most part, my skin cleared up and then stayed clear. I was on the 20 milligrams daily for about three months. Because my body was handling this well, I wasn't breaking out, but um, I was still getting bumps here and there. Um, but most of the other side effects I had under control, I'd figured things out. So uh, they were like, okay, we're gonna try moving you to 30 milligrams. Cause again, they're just trying to get me to that minimum. So I was on 30 milligrams of the same medication for two months. My skin was clear at this point. And maybe if it weren't for the virus, maybe if it weren't for the fact that I was already doing phone appointments by that point, um, 
I would have gone in to see the nurse in person and she would have seen my skin was clear and they would have been like, oh, okay, let's just take you off then. After two months on this, they put me back on 40 milligrams. I'm not gonna turn either of these boxes around because I was unable to get the uh, prescription slip off of this and you don't need to know my personal information. This is no longer in order, but here is all of the fucking Accutane I took. Yay, that's it, that's everything. Fuck. So after all of that, <laughs> I finally got to the minimum uh, milligrams that I was supposed to be taking. The dermatology nurse called me and said, is your skin clear? Yes, okay, you're gonna go off of Accutane for a month, and then if you don't break out in that time, just do your follow-up blood work and you'll be done. Or if you do break out in that time, call us and we'll do the blood work and we'll get you prescribed a new one and we'll go to the 800 something milligrams, okay? So I went off for a month and I didn't break out, yay! And so now by the time this video comes out, um, I will have been off of it for a full two months and I will have done my final blood work because I keep forgetting to go do that because pandemic. All of my side effects are gone. My dry lips went away within like a week, but again, I was still drinking a ton of water. And I do recommend after you go off Accutane to still kind of keep your uh, routine of how you were dealing with your Accutane. Keep that just so your body can like adjust to that. Um, my dry skin, like lines that I had in my face that I thought were going to be permanent, gone within like two weeks. It was great. I would say the side effect that lasted the longest was probably the sun sensitivity. I wear sunscreen religiously now. I do not spend my day inside without putting on sunscreen. I don't wanna spend a lot of time on this um, because I know some of you just won't listen to me, but as far as the actual products you were using on your skin, Listen to your dermatologist, especially if you are on Accutane, at least for a little bit. I was already using CeraVe uh, face cleanser, um, which is what they told me to try as well. Something they recommended to me, and I still use it, is Vanna Cream. That was like a very thick uh, facial moisturizer. I still use that. This is Eucerin uh, Advanced Repair Hand Cream. This shit is magical. Especially because I worked in a coffee shop. Uh, I had to wash my hands constantly and then even when the pandemic started I was washing my hands more. Uh, this stuff is magical because my hands were peeling both from the Accutane and then from washing my hands so much. This stuff is great. Um, also this stuff for your body. I know Eucerin is not sexy but this stuff is magical. It basically told me to simplify my skincare routine so uh, cleanser, moisturizer, SPF. Um, which I did, uh, but I was still thinking that I my skin was very dry. So because of that, I started using, again, um, Pixi Rose Oil, which was an oil that I was using prior to going on Accutane that I knew did not affect my skin whatsoever aside from hydration. Like I knew it didn't irritate my skin, it didn't cause discoloration or dry out my acne or upset my acne in any way or make me break out. So because of that, I was comfortable with implementing it into my skincare routine while on Accutane and I do still use it. Any sunscreen or SPF that said it was for acne prone skin broke me out. I currently use one from Supergoop that I'm obsessed with um, that goes on really well. I recommend that. And uh, yeah, that's really it. Uh, but as far as Accutane, would I go on Accutane again? Yes. Everyone is going to have a different experience on Accutane, but yes, though I did have some issues with being on Accutane and it was incredibly stressful at times, I'm not gonna pretend that the results aren't worth it to me. I wanted to kind of make this video so that people would be like less scared about it and have less anxiety about it. Um, and I don't know if I accomplished that because I know I had a very stressful time on Accutane and I had some very adverse side effects. My liver is fine, my, my kidneys are fine, my skin is not paper thin. Any side effects that I had uh, went away and the really bad side effects that I was concerned about, I have not had to deal with in any way. And yeah, that's really it. I don't know what else to talk about with this. Um, I would go on Accutane again and that's that. Have you been on Accutane? Are you thinking about going on Accutane? Did this video make you wanna go on Accutane less? I'm sorry, I wanted to make this like, as like a PSA, like, hey, it's not that bad. And then I spent a lot of time talking about how stressful my experience was. This is why I need to script things. I just talk and then it g derails. Uh, let me know, comment down below. <laughs> Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting my Patreon. If you'd also like to support my Patreon, link listed down below. If you'd like to follow me on social media, that'll be all up here. And that's gonna be it. Have a good day, goodbye.
I want to make people feel better about going on Accutane. Hey, I had a shit time on Accutane. I'm great at this. Do not hire me to be a motivational speaker. Thank you, Elaine, Ellen, Elise, Braden, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, Devin, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, Aaron, S, and Evan, Feckless, Finnegan, Hopeless, Jason, Joe, John, M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Kristen, Lex, Lisa, Manga, Matt, Matthew, S, Me, Lloyd, the Red, Michael, Michael, J, Nathaniel, Pat, Prowlock, Rob, Robert, Ross, Sam, Simon, Steph, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Tyrone, Wayne, Wendy, Williams, Andre.